Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today I'm eating a muffin, but I'm also reviewing the new album from Khalid. This one is called Free Spirit. And um, yeah, I feel like a free spirited person because I, I want to eat while doing this review. Forgive me for being distracted. I just got home from work. I, I thought I would do a quick little video just giving you my thoughts on, on this album from Khalid. He's an R&B singer. Um, he put out his American Teen album. Uh, I think back in what 2017 had a couple big hits on there. I was a fan of Young Dumb and Broke and uh, Location. And then last year he put out a couple singles. Um, he put out an EP, Sun City, that came out in the fall. Was not a big fan of it, but I could tell he has a lot of talent and he has like this niche or like this market going for him, like this audience that is always wanting to listen to his music. I, I don't see what the big deal about his music is because it's just very bland and the the beats are usually generic in my opinion and the singing from Khalid himself isn't I would say I don't know I wouldn't really say it's the the greatest I wouldn't say it's the worst I just feel like he doesn't really put much uh, emotional investment into his music so there's that so heading into this album I know a lot of people were excited for it I wasn't so I was lowering the bar of expectations and the singles we got some of them remained on on this full-length project I really liked the single better that one when I reviewed it on my hot and cold series I thought it was just middle of the road but there's something infectious about Khalid singing and um, something about that song it, it's it's grown on me a lot then we got single after single for the this this album uh, I think we got Talk back in February. That one didn't really sit well with me. I thought there, there were other R&B artists putting out better music at that time, and uh, one of those artists includes Lucky Day. But yeah, on the rest of this album, the, the songs, they, they flow easily from one to the next. I, I feel like cohesively the sound is there. Khalid's singing is, uh, as you would expect, it's him kind of crooning, kind of being sultry. Just I feel like a lot of the beats on this this album uh, are very stale, monotonous, uh, whatever kind of word you want to use for that, which is quite disappointing based on the, the production credits. Uh, I think a lot of higher up people in, in the industry were, were helping out Khalid on this one. And the name that really sparked my attention was John Mayer. Uh, he's, he's featured on a song here. It's called Out of My Head, and um, yeah, it's pretty boring. Uh, John Mayer's guitar solo does not really add anything to this. And it was a bit of a spontaneous way of how Khalid got John Mayer on his album. He just kind of like ran into him while he was recording in the studio one time. He was like leaving the studio late at night or something. And then John came in, sat down, like listened to Khalid's album, the first few songs in. And then he decided just to, to jam out on it, and uh, this was the song we got on it. Notably, I will say that John Mayer's uh, guitar solo is very warbly. It has like that kind of echoed effect as it usually has over the past few years. But yeah, outside of that, it's, it's kind of forgettable. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the notes that I took on each of these songs. I mean, other than the ones that I've already talked about. Kicking that off, uh, right back, this one has 13 songwriting credits on Apple Music and Genius. That's kind of sad given that this is pretty generic R&B music. The vocals are apathetic. They're very sultry, as I was referring to earlier. On the cut, Don't Pretend, this one kind of sounds like it's got a guitar uh, being played with the effects to make it feel like I should be on a beach. And a lot of this record kind of has that vibe going for it. It's almost like this whole beach vibe just gets taken out of hand a little bit, like it's just uh, done repetitively. Because on the track, uh, Paradise, it just feels like I'm listening to a carbon copy of the two previous songs. The title track, Free Spirit, I will give a lot of credit for its um, lyrical kind of sentiment. I don't like the song, I think it's, it's forgettable and it's just plain and just uh, flavorless. But really, the message behind the song is great, I think uh, being a free spirit is so crucial in this day and age. And not just only this day and age, but just in life in general, no matter what decade you were born in. But yeah, Khalid is basically saying that he's seen a lot of his friends from high school, uh, how they get stuck in this rut or they get comfortable. And he kind of wants to go against that. He just wants to make sure that when he puts out music, it's something that's different, which is something that you don't hear often from artists. And it's kind of refreshing to hear that. I know a lot of fans like to expect uh, the same kind of material being put out by their favorite artists, which can be quite frustrating, but if you're in control of your own life, you should have the say to do what you want and what you want to write with music. The song 21 kind of tackles more of these millennial issues. I feel like he 
He hits the nail on the head with the hammer. He tackles anxiety, depression, breakups, the things that are so cliched at this point I've heard a million times and he doesn't really bring anything to the table to make it sound like it's something new or exciting. Bluffin' is another song that is pretty conventional, it's another breakup kind of song. And it's so run of the mill it just goes through every kind of cliche in the book that is possible. Self is a track that's pretty tepid, it's pretty lukewarm in terms of its reception for me. Alive, this one kind of picks things back up. Uh, I feel like the lyrics are at their, their peak of creativity. They feel a bit more personal and I was actually speechless when I first heard this song. I just feel like Khalid does a, a much better job of kind of painting a clearer image of what's going on in his life and not just writing for the sake of connecting with a bigger audience. Then we move into the track Heaven, which uh, kind of builds off the, the previous track thematically. Khalid is basically begging Heaven for an offer, and based on what he's been saying leading up to this point, it kind of makes sense he's gone through so many breakups. I don't know if these are actually personal, but if this man has gone through that many breakups at his young age, I... I feel pretty bad for him. But either way, he's a songwriter, so uh, he's he's writing to please some of his fans, I would say. And then closing the album, we get one of the cuts that was on Sun City, that EP from 2018, it's called Saturday Nights. But yeah, this one, I, I didn't really enjoy from the EP, so I'm not really enjoying it here. So. I would say this entire album put together is very, it's a mixed bag. We get some generic songs, we get some that seem personal, uh, we get ones that just are so repetitive with the beat that it's hard to really distinguish between some of the songs on here. But yeah, I'm leaning towards the negative kind of side. And one last thing I have to say about this album, I, I tried sitting through it so many times but I just kept falling asleep. Even when I was like in the middle of my day, in the middle of my routine of going to work, I just felt like listening to this was going to make me go to sleep. And I admire sleepy music, but like when I need to stay awake and do my job, um, if this is distracting me in that much of a way, and if this is doing better than ambient music to induce sleep, I would say that kind of gets chalked up in the the negative sides of criticisms I have here. But yeah, overall I'm feeling a four. Um, that's a very light four. I, I would only recommend this album if you are a huge fan of Khalid. Tell me why I'm wrong. I know I will probably hear it down in the comments or get some dislikes, but um, just my opinion. Uh, feel free to share yours. I would love to keep this conversation going. Thanks for checking out the video today. Sound off down below in the comments, leave a like, dislike, whatever you feel like. Um, subscribe if you're new in town, thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day. I didn't quite finish this muffin, so I'm going to eat that now.